Alright guys, today what I'm going to be showing you how to do is put some window tint on the south facing windows of your house so that it reflects the sunlight back out and you don't have this uh, room in your house getting all hot. It's going to reduce your electricity bills, all those good things. So, uh, the first thing you want to do is clean the living crap out of your windows here. Make sure there's no dirt, no animal hair, no dust, none of that stuff on the windows. I've actually already prepped the windows and just cleaned them off really good. Uh, so I will forgo that step. The things you're going to need to do this are going to be a hard card, a brand new, very sharp, nice razor, a bunch of paper towels, and a bottle of a soapy solution. Um, I've already gone ahead and done the first step, which is to get your window tint. I just bought this at Home Depot. I don't remember how much it was. I bought it several years ago. What happened was these windows, for whatever reason, just these two started like bubbling up. So I had to remove the tint, and I'm going to replace that. So I've got this reflective tint here. I'm going to place it on the window. First thing you want to do is cut it roughly to the size you need it. And then next thing you want to do is grab your soapy solution. I just spray this all over the window. Get it nice and wet. The next step you would do is to uh, separate the window film and um, that way you've got the sticky side that you can stick to the window. Actually a good trick for that is to take some scotch tape and put one facing one way, one facing the other way and peel it apart like that and it should just peel right apart. I actually have to go grab some of that, so I'm going to do that right now. I'll be right back. So I figured I'd go ahead and show you guys that scotch tape trick. Just take two pieces of scotch tape, place one facing one direction, one direction, <laughs> lame, and then take the other side, face the other direction, but don't tape them both together, obviously, and then just kind of peel it apart. Voila, easy. So then this is the side that's going to go facing the window. This is going to be sticky. Make sure you don't touch that with your fingers or you leave fingerprints on it. No bueno. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and peel this and I'm probably going to need more stuff on the window, more soap solution. Let me wrangle my camera before I do this, that way you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, so after going around trimming all the edges, this is what I've got. No bubbles, none of any of that stuff going on. Oh wait, there's a little bubble right up there actually. Um, what you're going to have to do is keep coming back with your hard card for a little bit. Maybe like, you know, in about an hour or so, come back and hit it again. Just kind of make sure you smooth the edges back down. Because it is going to want to bubble up around the edges a little bit. But other than that, no problem. I think it looks good. Is it maybe quite as good as a professional would have done? Probably not. 
Uh, but does that really bother me? No, it doesn't. Uh, this property is going to become a rental property in about a year and a half, so I'm not too terribly worried about all the cosmetic stuff. But, um, you know, it is going to lower my utility bill, which is good. And you can see the difference here between the one that is tinted and the one that is not tinted. So, yeah, that's all you got to do. I'm going to go ahead and do this window now and get it done. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked it, uh, make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe to my video or my channel, rather. I've got, I don't know, I think 180 videos as of this point on how to do various things around the house, cars, bicycles, uh, power tools, all kinds of stuff. Check it out. Uh, thank you again for watching.